we are really just trying to make sure that they don't enter our province and we're working really hard with a lot of different agencies. Conservation officers were at the boat show in Kelowna educating the public on defenses against invasive mussels. Right now in the Okanagan uh, we're mussel free and the entirety of BC is also actually mussel free and so is Alberta. Uh, we actually just caught a mussel fouled boat last week. It was coming up through the port of a Soyuz and uh, it, we actually received no advance notification through the CBSA agency, so the border services agents that are there. Uh, they actually returned the boat back to uh, the states and got them to come across at a time when we were there. They were worried that it could cause a lot of damage to our province, which is exactly what these mussels can do. They have detrimental effects on the environment. They can outcompete a lot of na native species. They're very effective at filter feeding. We can and we have in some scenarios seen a decrease in fish populations. Um, we've also seen a lot of costs to infrastructure. It's been seen that uh, in hydropower electric dams, uh, they are, can be reduced in capacity by 50%, so that's a big problem there as well. Uh, also, any municipal water intake, any uh, agricultural water intake systems, essentially anything that draws water from that fresh water body, it could be affected. Our biggest motto is to clean, drain and dry your boat, so that includes pulling the bilge plug. Uh, make sure that you uh, flush your engine with fresh water from your hose. Uh, making sure that you ha your entire boat is dry before you launch in a, new, in a new water body. Conservation officers said that if you see this sign on any BC highways, that it's mandatory to pull over with any type of watercraft for it to be inspected. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna. Get Castanet's mobile app, available now on iTunes and Google Play.